Hey, what's good everybody? It's been a while since I did a game day vlog, but I'm doing it today. We are on our way to Torino shortly. We're gonna be riding on this bus five hours north to the northwest part of Italy, I think. It's been a while since I've been on a bus full of smelly football players. So I'm looking forward to it. Enjoy the video. Count your blessings, let's go. Oh, it is hot in here. It's really hot and it stinks on this bus. I really wish everyone would have showered before they got on this bus. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do Italians have a uh, stereotype of smelling bad? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Just people Tita! don't Bus stop somewhere between Florence and Torino. You know where we're at, coach? <laughs> oh, 20 minutes away? Well, why are we stopping? Found this blanket in my closet. I'm trying to get the like Italian grandma look. <laughs> so we're stopping at this rest stop because one, there's bathrooms here, and two, you might not be able to get food at the Stadium. Look at this guy. Why do you look so good? Andiamo a fare tanti touchdown. Oh, nice. I found an Italian urinal. It's really nice. Ciao. You know what's really nice about Italy? You don't have to pay for the bathrooms. In Germany, you have to pay for the bathrooms when you stop. So this is nice. Nice little surprise. We have some wild Italians drinking espresso in their natural habitat. You guys want to see something super Italian? See all these people just like over here at the bar area? See this thing? See these things here? It's super, super Italian uh, to just go to what they call a, a bar. In America, a bar is somewhere you, where you get alcohol. But in Italy, a bar is where you go to get your afternoon espresso. And so, so many Italians will go to the bar and get espresso. Hey, Giorgio, um, why, why do Italians go to the bar so much for espresso? Because we love espresso and we usually... In the bar, it's maybe better because they have this big machine for making espresso. We're at a rest stop, but this is basically what the bars look like all over Florence. They have these big uh, coffee machines. Espresso. Why do you love espresso so much? I like it very much. I love espresso. Perché? Italiano? Perché è molto molto buono. Bueno. È il più buono. È il più buono. He said it's very very good. Uh, most espresso is anywhere between a euro and a euro fifty. And yeah, they'll just like walk up. Can I get an espresso? They'll stand here. They'll give it to them. They'll be like. <laughs> And then they'll leave, just like that. It's really quick, easy. Did you get one too? Yeah, espresso. You know, it's a little thing, but it's crazy because it's just so uncommon for Americans to, to go and just get an espresso. Why do Italians love espresso so much? One euro. All right, we're gonna get espresso because that's how you do. Even if you have a game, you drink espresso. What kind of pre-game food are you going with today? Um, I always go with sandwiches and uh, some energy bars or uh, protein bars. And this is ice cream because uh, we have uh, we have the game at dinner time. Very few Italians drink American coffee, right? Yeah, yeah. They don't like it. But, but you like you, you like. I love it. Coffee? I love American I love coffee. coffee. I have it every day. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mm. 
I never drank espresso before Italy. Never. I thought it was gross. Uh, it's a very good drink. It's very good. I like it a lot now. Yeah, I like it. Mm. That was delicious. Thank you, Matteo, for that Italian espresso experience. Thank you. We're getting back on the bus and going to the stadium in Torino. We're in Torino. It's a little bit rainy. Hopefully that doesn't rain during the game. But we're here. We made it. Game day, baby. This is a locker room. Pretty small. Take a good look. This is how we do it out here, baby. Game over, we won. I'm really, really proud of our guys. They did a great job. Salsicha. I'm trying to come over here and get some salsicha. Thank you. Enjoy. Guys, is Lorenzo. Hi, guys. Uh YouTube. YouTube. Lorenzo has been helping us out with uh, the film. And what do we got over here? We have uh, salame. Salame. Salsicha. salsicha. Is that sausage? Yeah, with uh, mayo, spicy sauce, and vegetables, and a good, good beer. So this is the field that we played on tonight. Most of the teams play in old soccer stadiums. The major soccer teams play in really big stadiums like you're used to in the US, and then all the football teams play in like the smaller soccer stadiums. So it's a cool stadium. First time this year I played on grass. It made the game a lot harder, I'm not gonna lie. My, my cleats were full of mud. Playing on mud is so much harder because you can't like get off the ball and you can't cut as easily. But I will say this, shout out to my warrior cleats. So I, I wore my Nikes in the first half and they are horrible when it comes to mud. I switched at halftime, wore the warrior cleats um, the second half and I was able to cut way better. So for my fellow players out there, uh, for grass and like muddy surfaces, the warrior cleats are, are really good, much better than Nike. Let's go check in with our, our folks over here at Infinity. How we doing? Hey. Come va? Tutto bene? Bene, grazie. Bene, bene, bene. Infinity is one of the, like the big suppliers uh, of football stuff in, in uh, Italy. I actually know the uh, founder of Battle. Cool dude. Also, look at that. That's a Texas flag. That's cool. What are these types of gloves? They got Nike gloves, which is nice. Um, Nike gloves are my favorite gloves. I don't like Wilson or Cutter. These, my favorite practice cleats. Um, for a game, not so much. My favorite pads that I've ever worn. Yeah. Carbon Tex, I wore them tonight. Uh, <laughs> too small. You, you got a big head. Yes. It's a big, uh, big, 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 big head. Big head, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> This is the inside of my helmet. I'm really excited because the shadow is coming out in May and I'm gonna get that. Uh, it's supposed to be like the best new helmet out there, so I'm excited. Okay. So th this is actually really interesting because if we were in Germany right now, they would just cook the sausage like that and eat it. But since we're in Italy, they cut it in half and like make it like into a little meat patty and then they put it on the bread. 
Ooh, yeah. This is called he gets stuck wanting to Salamella. That's it. Let's go. This is my first time. Prima Tempo Per Salamello. That's good. That's good stuff. Now I'm getting to the good part. Mmm. Que hora sono? Midnight and 36. Oh my gosh! I remember you saying we'll be back home at uh, 9 a.m. They celebrate the water? It is literally 12.30 in the morning. So we literally started our game at 9 p.m. That's the latest game I've ever played in my life. It is currently 12.30 in the morning. The lights are turning off. We're probably not going to leave for like another 45 minutes to an hour. And we have a five hour trip. So... Not me though. You're staying here? No. Oh yes, but then I live in Milan, so I'm never in Oh, true. So I don't plan on getting a lot of sleep tonight. Good morning. Buongiorno. It is currently 8 a.m. in the morning and we are about 20 minutes away from Florence. We left the field at around 2 a.m. and our bus broke down a couple times so we had to drive very slowly. I took a, a nice little sleep right here on the floor. I brought a blanket and pillow and I actually feel pretty good. So I'm not going to go home and go to sleep. I'm actually going to church. I'm probably going to have to go straight from um, from the field to church. Because it's, i got to be there at 9. Alright, that's it. Air blessing, Joe. I'm glad I had a place to sleep tonight. Even though it was on this bus, at least it wasn't outside. Blessing counted. Let's go. Last thing I wanted to say was shout out to number 25 from uh, Torino. Number 25 got a solid hit on me. You're a good player, 25. Keep it up. You have earned my respect. When it's over, I press rewind up. Talking bands, I got it. Benjamins in my pocket. I trade in my truth for some robins. And he's playing Batman, but he's gonna rob him. I got the Glock in my robin. 17 shots, no 30.